Hey, what up yo guys, this is me Sam Gaza. welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fake the hyperlapse effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, if you don't have a camera, uh, or if you don't have the privilege of shooting a high quality hyperlapse, I guess this tutorial may help you in a weird way, I would say. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, let's see how we can do that. Alright, so for those who don't really know what hyperlapse is, Hyperlapse is pretty much the same concept of um, shooting a time lapse. The only difference is in time lapse, uh, we use time interval between one shot and another. In hyperlapse, we actually use a movement interval between one shot and another. So let's say you want to shoot a building. You take a shot, take one or two steps forward, take another shot, one or two more steps, so on and so forth until you have a successful hyperlapse effect. And of course, don't forget that in order to create one second, you need to capture at least 24 images, because as you guys may know, that every second consists of 24 pictures all stacked up together. All right, guys, so now uh, I have my clip here, as you guys can see. What I'm gonna do is just go into the effects panel and search for something called posterize. And um, just be careful because there are two posterize effects, the one under stylize, we don't need that right now. Uh, what we're gonna use is the posterize time effect here under time, drag it and drop it onto your clip. And as you guys can see here, the default frame rate for this effect is 24 frames per second. And what we're going to do is changing that and dropping it down to probably two. And let's see how it's gonna work. All right, so what does that mean guys? Uh, what, what did we exactly do here? So as you guys can see, the default frame rate for the posterize time effect is 24 frames per second. What that means is, as you guys may know, any camera captures 24 images, stack them all together in order to create one second of motion. And this is a difference between capturing a still image or a video. So by dropping down this number from 24 frames per second to two, it means that we're actually increasing the distance between each frame and the phone one. And that's why we can see this kind of stuttering motion as you guys can see here. And this stuttering motion happens because there are no more frames for Adobe Premiere Pro to play for us. Okay, so uh, the final step right now is just to uh, press the R key on your keyboard and drag your clip like that in order to make it faster so it looks better like a hyperlapse like a real hyperlapse all right uh, let me just render it all right and that's it if you feel like this is not what you're looking for you can always drop this number down so let's make it let's say one render it one more time and here it is all right guys so that was pretty much everything for today uh, hope you like it and uh, of course don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel and also follow me.